Well, welcome on in to another episode of In and on the Net, guys. Today we're going to install the Garmin uh, LiveScope Panoptics system. Uh, in a previous video on this boat, we installed the Garmin uh, UHD 93 SV system. If you didn't check out that video, definitely make sure to go check it out. There will be a link in the description and there will be a link in the top right corner of this video. Uh, but today we're going to install the live the LiveScope Pan Optics. So we're going to kind of check out what's inside the box. Uh, I recommend giving, getting yourself a, a drill, a couple of drill bits. We're going to need some zip ties. But let's jump right into the box here. Got a live scope transducer and this is going to attach to our trolling motor power system for the computer it comes with a fuse so you're not going to need to purchase a fuse it's going to have a fuse ready for you network cable that's going to plug into the back of the garmin chart plotter and it's not very long to be able to run to your computer so they also provided i think this is about a five foot or so extension for the network cable and then we finally have our live scope computer so as always guys you're going to want to you know take this stuff out and you're going to want to kind of transpire where you're going to put cables what you're going to do where you're going to mount this computer so let's jump right into the installation and install this so the first thing that we want to do is we want to install the network cable into the back of the Garmin. But my buddy over here, the 541 Fisherman, says he's got a present for me, so I gotta like, I guess I gotta close my eyes and I have to put my hands out, I guess. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it would appear. It would appear that the 541 fisherman has caught a bullfrog from the pond. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> he's, he's mad. All right, well, here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Continuing forward on the uh, the installation here. Ooh, that's, that's great. <laughs> Continuing forward, we're going to install the network cable first. So we're just going to take the network cable. We're going to plug it into the back of the Garmin mount right here. We're going to tighten that girl down and then we're going to pull this from our previous install and just drop it down in there. All right, so now that we've got our network cable coming down through, we are going to actually install the pan optics transducer onto the trolling motor and run its cable up so that we can start getting underneath our floorboard and connecting all the dots. So we, we're not necessarily gonna mount this right away, but we're gonna run the cable. So what we wanna do is we've got our, our trolling motors wound cable here, which is meant to be able to spring. And we're actually gonna use that to our advantage to get our power or our connection cable where we want it. So we kinda wanna transpire that the transducer is gonna be down here, maybe give it just a little bit of slack because that's where it's gonna mount. And then I'm gonna come up and we're actually gonna take this end and working from the bottom, we're gonna go into this coil system and we're gonna begin to just follow that coiling so that we're going through it. See that there? And when we get all the way up to the top, we'll be able to pull all the slack that we need out of it. But this will be a good location to be able to pin this cable out of the way and the ability for it to stretch back and forth. I'll show you guys that here in just a minute. We'll get this all the way up. Oop, it tried to slip out of my hand when I got to the very end. There we go. And we can start to pull this through. And again, like I said, you know, we're going to want to pull this through, but about to where we've got a little bit of slack to work with because we're not mounting the transducer just yet. And we don't want to shortchange ourselves. So now that we've got our uh, transducer cable and we've got that network cable, we're going to pull up the floor, start connecting some wires, mount our computer. Okay, so now that we've got the floor piece up, so I'm going to utilize the power cable for the trolling motor just to kind of pin this. I'm gonna take a zip tie and just wrap it around it, but we don't want this zip tie to be tight because we actually want this cable 
to be able to slide back and forth in here. I just want it to stay married to this cable so that it stays out of the way. We're going to take our extension for our network cable and we're going to connect it. It is a pin connector like all other Garmin stuff and it can only connect one way and screw that guy back on there. So now we're going to mount the pan optics uh, computer system and we're going to mount it right here underneath the floorboard on this aluminum uh, middle bulkhead and basically we're going to do it right here because the floorboard here actually has a an access slot so that we can get to it uh, but I do have to say that I recommend that it came with these little you know they're basically like wood screws and I would definitely not recommend that. I went down to Ace and I went and actually got some some better screws with some locking nuts and some washers so that it can definitely be better. So I'm just gonna place this where I would like it to and drill my pilot holes and then begin to attach it. All right guys, so now we've drilled the holes and I just sunk the screws into the sidewall here. We can see on this side over here that they're now sticking out. So now we're just gonna take this nice big fatty washer and one of these locking nuts and put that on there. We're gonna do that to all four of them and then we're gonna tighten them down with our wrench. So now that we've got the, uh, the computer mounted, now we just need to tap into our power system so that we can power it and the first thing that we want to do is we want to turn off the accessory power so I'm going to go do that. But we want to make sure that the power is turned off before we start cutting wires make sure that we don't get zapped. Now as you can see here we've got the power tapped into our system we've got it all heat shrinked and everything and so now we can connect all of our cables to our computer so I've connected the network cable I've connected the power cable and I've connected the transducer so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the floorboard back on and put this back together and then we're gonna head down to the trolling motor and the transducer and install that transducer once we've got the floorboard down we just have this one wire coming up here to the the trolling motor and it goes right here underneath of the floorboard and the uh, network cable not going down here not a lot visible as you can see and then we've got this porthole right here that we can open up and the computer is just right here easily accessible in case we need to get to it but now we're going to install the transducer they gave us two different mounting brackets one that we could install the transducer on the actual motor itself and another one to install it on the shaft. Uh, we're going to choose to install it directly on the motor itself so it's going to be this bracket. The assembly on this is really simple as you can see it's got the grooves to be able to change the angle of this. We just want it straight up and down and it is labeled up there. So then you've just got this allen wrench screw, you've got a rubber washer and a regular washer so the rubber washer should be against the plastic there and the metal washer against the bolt. So we'll go just like that right there. Okay. And then this just goes right inside here, right inside there. And then this guy just screws onto here. They gave you an Allen key to be able to do this. So we'll just tighten this on. And it does mention to tighten this all the way to make this extremely tight so we'll make sure that we got a good tighten on that and then it's actually really relatively simple from there we've got a rubber grommet guy that we put against this so that we can protect our trolling motor and then we just simply run a hose clamp that they provided through the slated grooves right here you can see where the hose clamp runs through there and clamp it onto the trolling motor so let's do that around our trolling motor and there you have it 
All right, guys, so the last thing that we need to do is I just want to kind of pull this slack because uh, you can see that we do have a whole bunch of slack. So we're just going to pull this slack out so that it's not too terrible. We're going to take this excess. We made everything so that it could slide, remember. So we're going to take this excess and we're just going to kind of push it down underneath of the floorboard because we don't need it. Remember, I left that slack in there so we had room to work and I said we'd fix it later. So now we're fixing it. So there we go. We've got the pan optics completely installed now from the transducer. We've got the computer installed. Power is driven to it and the network has ran all the way to the Garmin chart plotter. So now we can go ahead and turn it on and make sure that it's connecting to the pan optics. So once we've got the pan optics fully installed, so you can see here, I've turned the sonar on and it will just automatically, if everything is connected properly, you will automatically get this extra option for pan optics. Now, if you don't see the option for pan optics here, you're gonna wanna definitely take a look at your computer. If you can see here, let me grab the camera really quick. As you can see, there is a light right there in between those two wires, the status light. So that's either going to not be on, which means your power is not connected right, or it may be blinking red, indicating that it is um, not able to connect to the chart plotter, for example. If it's blinking green like ours is, then it should be fully connected to the chart plotter, and you should have the option for pan optics. Now you can see here that we can't see anything, and that's just pretty much because, well, our transducer is out of the water, so it's not gonna be able to see anything. But so that's our next step, is we're gonna take this girl out, we're gonna go dip it into the water, and we're gonna go mark some fish with the pan optics and see what happens. So let's go do that. So here we are, we're out on the river and we've got the pan optics drop down out the front. As we can see here, our pan optics is operating properly. I can definitely look around. I see some fish going on right here. Right now we're trying to find some sturgeon because there is some sturgeon around here. Somewhere's the lure, there's the lure right there. You can see me bouncing it up and down. Right there, and there's little little bait fish. Look at them all. Look, look at all those little fish. And then if you look, look at, you can see them. I don't know if you can see them down there. All those little guys chasing it. But yeah, so our pan optics installation was most certainly a success. Now we're just gonna go ahead and use this thing and try to catch some fish with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow for more fishy content. Take care, guys.